In this list, we're going to look at three cities in danger of a major earthquake. Every four years, the American Society of Civil Engineers issues a report card on America's infrastructure. For two decades, the U.S. has maintained a solid D average. Inland waterways and levees recently got a D minus. Wherever the big one hits, it's going to create massive problems. So let's take a look at three cities who might just lose in this epic game of earthquake roulette. Hey guys, please subscribe. It could be your good deed for the day. Number three, New York City. Next time you're in New York, hop on the one train and head uptown to Harlem. If you go to the Columbia University bus station where they take everyone to the observatory, you'll see that the subway tracks seem to just pop out onto a trestle bridge before going back down to Earth. What happens there is that the ground drops below the train right on the site of one of New York's largest faults. It's known as the Manhattanville Fault and it runs all the way across the top of Central Park and eventually underneath Long Island City. Interestingly, its epicenter is located around 55th Street and 8th Avenue, which is directly beneath the original Soup Man restaurant, which was the inspiration for Seinfeld's famous Soup Nazi. But it gets worse for New York because the recently discovered Ramapo Fault could produce a 7.0. With the population density of New York and the rickety transit system, it could be a total disaster. Number two, Memphis. Memphis is located on the New Madrid Fault, one of the most active seismic zones east of the Rockies, with on average about 200 earthquakes a year. The region is 30 years overdue for a 6.3 earthquake. If that hits, FEMA estimates that survivors will need 15 million meals ready to eat, 23 million liters of drinking water, and about 62 million pounds of ice, and that's in the first 72 hours alone. And it gets worse. Around Memphis, there are about 460 miles of levees that, according to the Army Corps of Engineers, are in an unacceptable condition. Shipping will also grind to a halt. Memphis has UPS's third largest hub, and their crown jewel hub, which is 5.2 million square feet, is also in the New Madrid damage zone. If Memphis gets hit with a big one, it's gonna be ugly. Number one. Yucca Mountain. All right, I know that Yucca Mountain isn't a city. However, if an earthquake were to hit this nuclear waste storage facility, it would be a disaster on the scale of Fukushima. A new study by two University of Colorado at Boulder geophysicists found that an earthquake in the vicinity of Yucca Mountain could cause groundwater to surge up into the storage area. If water hits the storage area, it would cause a rapid corrosive breakdown of the containers, allowing the plutonium to leak into the water table and the atmosphere. What are the chances of that happening? Well, it turns out that unfortunately, Yucca Mountain is in a very active seismic area. There have been more than 600 earthquakes in a 50 mile radius of Yucca since 1976. So if that one goes, just head underground and don't ever come out. We hope you enjoyed this list. And here's a quick pro tip. If you ever are in an earthquake, make sure not to go under the bed or under the desk. Actually, you want to be next to the couch or next to your bed or next to your car. So when a lamppost comes down in the street, it'll actually hit that car and create a tiny triangle with the ground, the car, and the pole itself. That's called a triangle zone of safety. And studies show it's the safest place to be in an earthquake. Please subscribe.